Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on games and tournaments. It says that a four match test series was held between India and Australia. And uh, the top four batsmen from Australia and India are named. And it is given that every they played in all eight innings. Okay, so in every match you have two innings, so total of eight innings. Every batsman was dismissed or out for at least four times during the series. And some information is given that the average of all these batsmen was an integer. Average is defined as runs scored divided by the number of times a batsman is out or dismissed. Okay. So, for example, let us say a person scores 360 runs. Okay. And if that person is out on all eight times, his average will be 45. But if he is out on six times, his average will be 60. If he is out on four times, that will be 90. If he is out on five times, that will be 72. So, average is total runs upon number of times the batsman is out. Okay. So, now let us make a table of all these players and find out their runs and average. So, we have uh, Smith, Quaja, Warner and Labushain from Australia. And then we have Rahul Gil, Pant Kohli. These are the players from India. So, we will find two things for them. Total runs and the average. And let's start with something that is uh, the numbers that are given to us. That first says Rahul had the highest average of 100, right? So, Rahul's average is 100. And Gil had the highest aggregate of 456 runs. So, Gil total is 456. Okay. Now, Rahul has an has a average of 100. So, that means his runs can be multiple of 100. Now, each batsman is out at least 4 times. right? So, his minimum runs will be 400. But if we take his, let us say, if we assume that he is out 5 times, his total will be 500. But Gil has the highest total, 456. So, we know one fixed thing that Rahul scored a total of 400 runs. So, here I am writing the number of times they are out in the series. Okay. Now, Gil has average of total of 456. So, 456, if we divide by 3 more than 100, 4 more than 100, we cannot divide by 5. By 6, it will give us 76. Uh, by 7 is not possible. By 8 will give us 57. So, his average can be 76 or 57. Okay. Uh, Lebushin scored 160 less than top scorer. We do not know the top scorer. So, we will come back to this. Smith scored 14 runs less than Khwaja. So, we do not know uh, about Khwaja, anything about Khwaja right now. Warner scored 322. So, that we will put. Now, 322, if we see, 322 can be written as if we divide by 2, it will be 161. Okay, which is 7 into 23. So, these are prime numbers, only possibility is 7 times. <clears throat> so, his average will come as 46. Okay, so this is also done. The averages of Warner, Panth and Gill in order. Warner, Panth and Gill are in arithmetic progression. Okay. Now, if we take 46 and is 57. So, uh, Panth's average will come as average of these two. Because of the middle term is average of this two, which is non-integer. Okay. So, we know that all these averages are integer. So, that means we will not consider 57, we will consider the average as 76. So, we will get average of Panth as 61. 46 plus 76 divided by 2. That is 61. Okay. So, we get this. Now, also the average of Gil, Khwaja and Rahul in order are in AP. So, Gil is 76. Right. Uh, uh, Rahul is 100, so Khwaja should be between them. So, Khwaja's average will come as 88. Okay. All right. So, this these averages we have found. Now, there is one statement about Smith and Khwaja. So, it says Smith scored 14 runs less than Khwaja and his average was 17 less than that of Khwaja. Okay. Now, uh, if we look at Khwaja, Khwaja, the average is an even number. Right. 
so his total will be an even number. If his total is an even number, Smith scored fourteen less, right? So his uh, his total should be an even number. And Smith's average is seventeen less than that of Fajar, so Smith's average is seventy one. Okay. So let us start with minimum. Let us say Smith was out four times, so Smith's average total will come as two eighty four. Okay. And Smith scored fourteen runs less than Fajar, so Fajar's total will come as two ninety eight. Now it is not divisible by eighty eight. Okay. So that is not possible. So let us take uh, the second case. Let us say Smith was out six times. Okay, so six times means that will give us four hundred and twenty-six. Okay, and Khwaja scored fourteen more than him, so Khwaja will come as four forty, which is divisible by eighty-eight. So this case fits. Right, we can try with eight also. Seventy-one into eight is five hundred and sixty-eight, which is not possible because total is uh, maximum uh, aggregate is four fifty-six. Right, so that is not possible. So this is the only fitting scenario. So Smith six times, Khwaja got out five times. So that we have filled. Now we have to fill. Uh, this is also done. One statement is left, right? The third statement, which says Labushin scored one sixty runs less than the top scorer from his team. So Labushin definitely is not the top scorer, right? Because he is scoring less than the top scorer. So top scorer is Khwaja. So Labushin scored two eighty runs. Okay, and his aggregate for four runs more than that of Kohli. So Kohli's total will be two seventy six. Okay, but Kohli had a better average than Labushin. Now let us consider Labushin. Right, Labushin, what can be his average? So uh, if we divide two for two eighty by, uh, we cannot have by two. We can divide by four minimum. So if we take uh, four and seventy one is pair is this. Okay, second pair if we divide by five, we will get fifty six. Third pair, we get that if we divide by seven, it will be forty. Okay, for Kohli, the total is two seventy six. So two seventy six cannot be divisible by uh, uh, minimum four if we divide. So that is four, we get sixty nine. Five, we cannot divide. We can divide by six. That will give us forty six. Okay, so these are the two possibilities. Now it is given that the uh kohli had a better average than labushin so labushin average cannot be 70 okay so we have either possibility like uh, this is uh, 69 and 56 so the possibilities are kohli 69 labushin 56 or we can also have kohli 69 labushin 40 or kohli 46 and Labushin 40. So these could be the averages of these people. We cannot uniquely determine. Okay, so we get multiple cases because uh, no month, uh, nothing else is given to us as information. Okay, and a total of month cannot be determined from the given information. Right now, the first question is: For how many players among the mentioned eight can both aggregate and average be determined? So we have to find people for both. We can determine both the things. So for one, two, three, four, and five. So for five players, we can determine both total as well as average. What is the difference between the aggregates of the top scorers from India and Australia? India, the top scorer is Gill, four fifty six, and here it is four forty. The difference is sixteen. Okay. Which of the following could not be the difference between the averages of Labushin and Kohli? So, if we take this case, the difference is thirteen. In this case, the difference is twenty-nine. In this case, the difference is six. So, six, thirteen, twenty-nine, all are possible. Eleven cannot be the possible difference. Which of the following cannot be true? Okay. So, first statement says Warner and Kohli had the same average in the series. Warner's average is forty-six. Kohli can have forty-six as the average, right? So this may be true. Pant hit four centuries, that is scores of hundred or more in the series. Okay, so Pant's average is sixty-one. So if we consider sixty-one into eight, that will be more than four fifty-six. But if we consider sixty-one into seven, that will be four twenty-seven. So he can have four centuries. Maybe he can score hundred, 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 hundred. And twenty-seven in the remaining matches, so that is also possible. So we cannot say that it is not true. Okay, it may be true. 
Smith remained unbeaten or not out thrice in the series. Now we know that this thing, this is definitely that he uh, remained not out just two times because total eight times was the matches, uh, eight innings, and he he got out on six occasions. So that cannot be. Okay. Let's check the fourth option. One has scored more runs than Pant. That is definitely possible. So let's say if Pant get out on four times, five times, he will be even if he he gets out on five occasions, his score will be less than that of Anna. So this may be true, right? So all these three re rest of the three options can possibly be true, but option C is definitely a false statement. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope uh, you loved solving this set. So please do like the video.